Hey you guys, welcome and welcome to the replay if you're watching the replay. This is Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalkator. As you come in, please make sure you say hello. And if you love what you see, in the bottom left hand corner of your mobile devices is a share button. The greatest compliment you can give me is a share. So hey, hi you guys, welcome. Welcome to all our new followers and welcome to all our current and very loyal followers. I appreciate all of you. I'm so excited. I did a little rearranging today. I wanted to go live this afternoon, but I kind of rearranged a little bit so that you could see more of the pictures and stuff that I've done. So I got my stuff lined up for the upcoming holiday. You can see we have our pillows over here. But you guys, I'm Jen with Let's Get Chalking with Jen. I am a independent master mentor with Chalkator. And for those of you who don't know what Chalkator is, let me just explain really quick. We are a revolutionary concept in DIY home decor and crafting. You're not going to find our products anywhere else but through us. We offer a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. We have a line of Chalkology chalk paste and Couture permanent inks. We do offer several surfaces such as chalkboards, box wood frame, canvas pillowcases, we have a tote bag and a canvas banner. But you can use our products on many other surfaces like windows, dry erase boards, ceramics, and again the, the possibilities are just absolutely endless. But the most amazing thing I can offer to you is an innovative ground floor DIY home decor opportunity. So if you are a crafter or a blogger, or maybe you just have a craft shop online or brick and mortar, um, this is absolutely an opportunity for you. There is nothing else out there like our products, and it's just $99 to get started, and I would love to share that information with you. So if you're interested in learning more once you see what I do, please reach out to me. Again, I would love to share that. You can comment info, kit, or you know opportunity below. I do have a private opportunity group, so if you are currently not a designer, um, I would love to add you to that opportunity group where you can absolutely learn more about this amazing opportunity. So let's get started. Let me get my screen set up. I'm going to put myself up there in the corner. And I'm really excited to do this one for you tonight, you guys. This one is our Joyous Santa. It's actually called Joyous Christmas. Yeah. Um, this one, uh, we got this back in... Um, I think it was the beginning of August, we actually launched our holiday line. And then this one kind of sold out right away. But this guy right here is going to be back in stock tomorrow for you to purchase. So if you're local to me and this is one you want to do as a workshop, please let me know because I would love to do this as a workshop or a sip and chalk or whatever you want to call it. Get together with the girls. Um, but again, if you want to do it on your own, you can purchase it right on my website. Let me put that up there if you guys want to go check some things out. And um, he's just an amazing, amazing transfer. And he is so detailed that I just, I've been waiting to do this one for you. So I'm really excited to get this going. So what's really nice is if you are newer to Chocotour and you are interested in just buying products and doing this for yourself, on the back of each and every one of our transfers, there are directions on how to use and care. And so it tells you how to appeal, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. But absolutely, you can come and check out the videos that I do on this page for you to see how it all works as well. So I'm just going to throw that away and flip this over. So on all of our transfers that are larger size, and this is going to involve a little bit of layering, you can see there's cut lines right here for you. And the other nice thing that Chalk Couture has done when there is layering, let me take that off the screen there, is our transfers now have numbers on them so you know what's going to go first and then what part will go second. So I was so happy that they did that for us. So I'm just going to take regular pair of scissors, nothing fancy, and I'm just going to cut my Santa. So again, as you guys come in, please make sure you say hello. I would love to welcome you. I hope I am on the right page. Hey, Melissa, welcome. Welcome from Texas. So excited you joined us. I hope you love the design tonight. 
All right, so I got my Santa, and I'm just going to do Joy's. Okay. All right, so I got the pieces cut apart that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to use the whole transfer today, so I just need to find. I cleaned my whole office, and now I don't know what I did with my marker. Mm -mm. That's all right. So the one thing you do want to do with your transfers, because these all are reusable, you want to make sure that you write on the back of your transfers so you know what side your carrier sheet is going to go on. Now, I'm going to tell you a little tip and trick since I don't have a marker near me. Yeah, I don't have one near me, so I'll show you something. Now, tonight's design I'm actually going to be doing on a piece of wood. So this is just a regular piece of wood. I purchased this from Lowe's and I painted it white and then I stained it with a, a dark walnut and then when any time I use a surface like this, let me just grab this really quick, I always like to put a finishing wax. So this is what I use. It's a min wax finishing paste. I just go over top of this. I don't think I have, I can't, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm so excited you found me on YouTube. Wow, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribed. So this is the finishing wax that I use. I use this on cardstock. I use this on wood or anything that's kind of non-porous. And what this does, it's a lot easier on your transfers so that when you go to remove them, they come off nice and smooth. So I've sealed this and now it's dry and this is what we're gonna use to chalk on tonight. That's so cool, Melissa. I'm glad you were able to find my page and come on over. So like I said, these are numbered. So this is gonna be my first layer for my Santa. So I'm just gonna set this other one aside. And actually, let me make sure I have... Matthew, honey. Jason. Can you have Matthew bring me a marker? So when I am removing my transfers from their carrier sheets, what I like to do, I don't like to pick at the corners. I take my finger, and do you see how quick that one was? I kind of rub it over the edge till it flips up. I'm gonna flip this over so that the carrier sheet, my, my transfer's facing down, and then I like to peel the carrier sheet from the transfer, okay? Now here's the tip. If you don't have a marker handy, my, my amazing child is bringing one down here. Um, one side of the carrier sheet, there you go. See how shiny that is? That's the side your transfer is going to go on. So this would be the back side that is not shiny. But he brought me a marker, so I'm going to go ahead and write on the back so I know for later. And I'm just going to set that aside. This is back two. And then we're going to use the joyous. All right. Thank you, Matthew. All right, so I've got that done. Now there's the adhesive side of the transfer. Obviously, that's the side you're going to put down on your surface. So I'm just going to lay this where I want it. I'm going to kind of put them up a little higher because I am going to add the words to the bottom. Can I wear this to school tomorrow? Oh, my gosh. That's my son, Matthew, for those of you that are new. He likes to be a part of the videos. I just want to make sure I have my little tab there. So I'm just going to lay this down. And then I'm going to smooth it out so that there are no air bubbles in my silk screen. All right, so I'm just going to smooth that out. Did you hear that? That means there's an air bubble. So we're just going to smooth it out. Now, if you have air bubbles in this green part, that doesn't matter. It's only where your silk screen is that you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay. Now, I'm going to be using our Chalkology chalk paste today. I'm only using three colors. I'm going to be using white, our black, and then our candy apple red. Okay. So our chalk paste is water soluble and semi permanent. The only pit paint, blah, blah. The only place you are able to get our chalk paste is through Chalk Couture. Um, everything is done in house. Uh, like I said, they're water soluble and semi permanent, so they go on as a liquid and then dry as a solid. 
And then if you ever want to seal your projects, you absolutely can do that. All right, so what you wanna do, open your chalk paste, you're gonna stir it up. You want these to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. If for any reason they are not, you can just add some little squirts, like I just have my little water bottle, if you guys have seen me do a thousand times, I would just spray it in there and keep stirring it up till it's the consistency that I want. I'm just gonna get these all ready. My black is gonna be last. See, now that one's kind of thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead, spray that right in there, stir it up. All right, and then my candy apple red, she's good, and we are all set. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do most of it in white. I'm gonna do his hat in red and the little ball in white as well. I've got my tub of water off to the side, so let's get started. All right, Mr. Santa. So if you guys have any questions as we're going along, let me know. I will answer them as I see them come in. But I, I'm so excited to do this one for you guys. I have been waiting to do Santa, and he is back in stock tomorrow. So like I was mentioning to you guys, this is a new direct sales home party plan company on the market, and it has just taken off. DIY home decor is so one of the hottest trends that I was so happy that I found this opportunity last November, and I'm having a blast sharing it. I mean, anybody can do this, whether you're crafty or not does not matter you can create these beautiful designs and like when i'm doing this as you can see i'm just applying pressure pulling my chalk paste across this silk screen area nothing fancy hey tony welcome you can go up or down left or right it doesn't matter get in that little area there because i want to do that in red but all the beautiful home decor products, you can do this yourself now, which is what I love. I'm gonna get my red. So if you're interested in learning more, or if you're interested in maybe you're a wreath maker, maybe you are a craft blogger, this would be an awesome new addition to your business, and I would love to share that with you. You can just buy, you could be a designer, buy the products at our discounted price. And if you just wanted to create designs and sell them, maybe on Etsy, or maybe if you have a, like I said, a craft, uh, craft blog, you can sell them on there. You can sell them at any kind of local boutiques you have in your area. So there's a lot of opportunities that way. Me personally, I like to do local work, local workshops and vendor shows. So just so many possibilities. Are you guys ready to see the bottom part of our Santa? Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Okay, that's it for layer one, you guys. How easy was that? And look at just the detailing in that part. I mean, look at that, that is so cool. So I'm just putting this in water. And I'm kind of just rubbing it around to get some of the chalk paste off of that transfer. And then I'll clean that up when we're done with the Facebook Live. Now I need to dry this before I do my next layer. So I'm just going to take a regular hair dryer. I have it on warm. And I'm just going to dry this up a little bit. And you usually can tell when it starts to dry. The colors don't look as, as you know, like there's moisture in there. They kind of get, you know, a little, a little more matte finish. I just want to make sure this is dry before I do my next layer.
Now, the other thing recently that I learned that you can do between layers is you can take a little bit of the wax, and some, sometimes what this does is it'll help with, um, so that you don't peel up anything. You don't peel up the bottom layer of the chalk paste. So I just like to apply a little bit of wax to this area. Like I said, I'm just rubbing that across there. And then I'm going to dry that up a little bit as well before I go do the next layer. So it just seems to help with layering. It was a little trick that I also recently learned. Because when you're layering over it, you're actually, the adhesive side, it can stick to the chalk paste. So this just seems to work for a little extra protection. good I just wanted to come back down the room temperature so again I've got my second layer of my Santa I'm gonna get it started flip it over peel it off so now I'm gonna lay this one over top and I don't know if you guys can see how that kind of just lays right over top of that and you can line it up I love the layering. It blows my mind how it can line up sometime. And it's just, you can totally see where it needs to go. Can you guys see that? That is the coolest thing. Okay. All right, so I got that down. Again, just gonna smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my Santa. You guys loving this? Are you loving my Santa? Isn't he so cool? All right, now this is just gonna be all black. So all I'm gonna do, just gonna take my black chalk paste. And I'm just gonna get a glob of it and put it on another glob put it on now because this is such a bigger area I am actually going to get my larger angled squeegee that we have and I'm just going to pull this across my silk screen again I love the angled squeegee because it just gives you quicker response a bigger surface to pull your chalk paste across especially when you're doing you know, the whole thing is going to be all black here And I definitely have a lot of chalk paste on here, so I'm just scraping off the excess to pull it down to the other areas. Got plenty on there. Even got some extra. Putting that right back in my jar, you guys. Oops. Uh oh, hear an air bubble in there over here at the end. Hopefully we're okay. All right. So I got that done. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. This is the nervous part, right? See how our Santa... Oh my gosh. Look. Every single time, you guys. Look how... Oh my gosh. I can't. That is so amazing. So every time, every time it amazes me. I can't, I just, do you see how amazing that looks? I, I'm going to say amazing about four more times. Give me some hearts and thumbs up if you love this Santa so far. Wow. I, I'm, I'm giving myself hearts and thumbs up because he is amazing. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just wiping my hands, you guys, because I put it in the water over here. And my husband must be printing. It fell right off of there. Just put that to the side, sorry. Look how detailed. Let me take that off the screen. You guys, look how amazing and detailed Santa is. He is absolutely gorgeous. He He's just... I can't even say it again. He's just gorgeous. Thank you, Melissa. So I'm going to dry him up a little bit more. Oh, thank you, Tony. And you guys, if you are watching this and you're like, I can totally do that. That looks like something I would love to do. Please reach out to me about the opportunity. We get a very generous discount as designers. And I would love to share this with you. I can tell you people in my area are absolutely loving Chocotour. And the, the possibilities are endless of all the beautiful things you can create. We always have new designs four times a year. So for each and every season, we have new designs. So I'm thinking I just want to put this down here in red. Yeah, I think that'll be good. But just comment info or me below, you guys, as I would love to share that with you. Or again, if you are interested, you can shop right on my website. I will put that back up here for you guys if you want to check it out. And this guy right here will be available tomorrow for you to purchase right online and you can create your own in the comforts of your own home, whatever you would love. All right, so I'm just gonna do this in red. Oh my, I, I just can't believe how, he's, he's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous Santa. Almost done, you guys. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer those for you. Scraping off my excess, putting it right back in the jar. Hey, Anita, welcome. Thanks for watching. I'm going to remove my transfer. And that is it, you guys. That is that simple. And look at this beautiful sign for the upcoming holidays. I'm going to dry this up a little bit more. Just a regular hair dryer, nothing fancy. Super easy. Perfect. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Now, if I want to, I can absolutely make this design permanent so that I have it year after year. And I'm gonna show you what I use here in one second. Okay. So let me grab, excuse me one second, I don't mean to get out of your way there, but I forgot I put this up here. This is what I use to seal my projects. So this is a Krylon, I, I use the Satin Crystal Clear Sealer. Once this is completely dry, I will spray this over and that's gonna make my design permanent, you guys. It's that easy, that simple and easy to create these beautiful product projects using Chocotour products. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love my Joyous Santa, or I'm sorry, this is called Joyous Christmas. It will be available tomorrow, October 31st, um, after 11 a.m. Mountain Standard, or I'm sorry, Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you check that out. And um, again, if you absolutely love this, Please share my video. It's the greatest compliment you can give me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow. I think I'm going to be doing our buffalo plaid pillow for you. So stay tuned, you guys, and happy chalking.